Want to cut? Not really. What were you doing? Well, let me see. I've tidied the study twice. And I've rearranged the coats in the hall. I might check his clothes for moth. What about you? We've cleaned everything three times over. And I've sent Beth into the village for some eggs to pickle. Though the mistress doesn't really like them. Well, she never eats properly anyway. Not on her own. A butler can't do much with supper on a tray. Beg pardon for troubling you, only the door was open. No, but the front gate was not. No. What do you want? Have you got any spare food? Spare food? What's that one it's at home? Hang on, hang on, wait. From around here? Not far. I used to work on the farms, but uh, not anymore. You get that in the wall? Don't pity me. I'm one of the lucky ones. I might have something for you. Come on. I had to get out of that kitchen if I'm not to be found dead under the table. It's like cooking a banquet three times a day. It is a lot of extra work, whatever they say, even with the helpers. <laughs> Don't think they lighten the load. Mrs Byrne? What's going on? I knew I'd be found out sooner or later. At least it's you. Found out doing what? What does it look like? Well, I don't know what it looks like. Except some kind of soup kitchen. You'd better come inside. One at a time. Yeah. Take a piece of bread. Right, Daisy, stand there. Give them a bowl and a spoon. When did all this start? That fella turned up asking for food. Then he came back next day with a friend. And here we are. What does Mrs Crowley say? She doesn't know yet. I suppose she'll put a stop to it when she gets back from France. I hope not. To be honest, Mrs Patmore, I'm not sure I can manage much longer. Well, how often do you do it? I plan to get it down to once a week and give them only the cheapest cuts. But it is my money. And I no, don't know hold it much... right there. If we can't feed a few soldiers in our own village, they must have taken the bullet or worse for king and country, then I don't know what. Why would she sell food to Mrs. Bird? It makes no sense. Well, I can't confirm the details of the arrangement. Maybe they both sell it and divide the proceeds. Either way, I felt you should know. Have you said anything to Mrs. Hughes or Carson? I've tried with her, but there's none so blind as them that will not see. I'm curious. Next time, come and fetch me. Mind out, this is hot. Spoons! Unless they're to drink directly from the bowl. Oh, oh. Do you think there's enough? Oh, you've got to feed about 50, I reckon. You've got yeah, some more. That's I'll ready. Have some yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're going to have to feed a bit. May we come in? Your ladyship. What a surprise. O'Brien seemed to think that you and Mrs. Bird were engaged in a commercial venture of some sort, so I came to see for myself. We are not, your ladyship. I agree, that's not what it looks like. We feed these men once a week, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'll be back before luncheon at the big house. I'm sure. But is it true they're fed from our kitchens? Only the stuff the army gives. They are soldiers. What did I tell you? Daisy's right, we only use the food the army pay for. And all the men have served their country. In future, I would prefer it if you would use food paid for by the house. I don't want the army to accuse us of mismanagement. You mean you're going to let them get away with it? 
Oh, more than that, I'm going to help them. And so are you. Mostly. Um, if you bring that table over, I suggest we divide the food. Then we can form two lines and it will go faster. O'Brien, you can manage the bread. Daisy. I've cost the lady. Mm. What is it? Beef stew, ma'am. Stand around. <laughs> 